Hello and welcome to this podcast brought to you by the Isle of Man Anti-Cancer Association. My name is Malcolm, a former surgeon and presently chairman of the Isle of Man Anti-Cancer Association. And my name's Sandy. I'm the executive officer of the Isle of Man Anti-Cancer Association and a cancer survivor. In this podcast, we want to talk about prostate cancer awareness. Prostate cancer is the most common form of cancer in men over the age of 50, with around one in eight men developing prostate cancer during their lifetime. In recent years, there has been an increase in the understanding of the disease, as well as a number of celebrities who have been affected by it, coming forward to try and raise awareness of the condition. The prostate is a small gland only present in men. It is situated at the outlet of the bladder, variously described as normally being about the size of a walnut, chestnut or even a small apricot, and is important to humankind as it produces part of the fluid to nourish the semen in sperm. The gland enlarges with age and can lead to difficulty in passing urine in older men. Small areas of cancer within the prostate are very common, but in the majority it stays dormant or grows very slowly over many years. This is why in some of the more elderly affected by the disease, management is often by a wait-and-see approach. In a small proportion, the cancer can grow quickly and spread particularly to the bones. The majority of men over 80 will have some cancer cells in their prostate, but only 1 in 25 will die to the disease. So what are the symptoms that may be associated with prostate cancer? The common symptoms of prostate cancer are a weak or slow urine flow, passing urine more frequently or urgently than usual, particularly noticeable through the night, difficulty in starting to pee, pain or a burning sensation during urination, or unexplained urinary infections. In most men, these symptoms develop over many months and occur as a result of age-related non-cancerous enlargement of the gland. But you should see your doctor and get things checked out. Occasionally, other symptoms may occur, such as impotence or erectile dysfunction, again a not uncommon problem in men over 55 for other reasons, constipation, blood in the urine or semen, or pain in the back with no other obvious cause. There are a number of factors that are associated with an increased risk of developing prostate cancer. Age. As men get older, their risk of developing prostate cancer increases. Diet. Our Western diet, which is high in saturated fat and red meat, and may increase the risk of developing prostate cancer. Having a family history. If your father or a brother has had prostate cancer, then your risk increases. Ethnicity. Prostate cancer is more common in black Caribbean and black African men than in white or Asian men. There is a formal screening program for cervical, breast and bowel cancer, and people often ask why there is not one for prostate cancer, particularly as it is the commonest form of cancer in older men. There is something called the PSA test. This is a blood test looking for increased levels of a protein produced by the prostate that can spill over into the bloodstream. The PSA level increases normally in individuals with age as the prostate enlarges, and the level is elevated for several days after sexual intercourse. An increased PSA level can be an indicator of prostate cancer, and certainly at high level may be indicative of prostate cancer. However, Two-thirds of men with a raised PSA level for their age do not have prostate cancer, while 20% of men with prostate cancer have a normal PSA level. Therefore, the PSA test used on its own is not suitable as a screening tool, but it is a reasonable marker of response to treatment in those with prostate cancer. There is optimism that a screening test for prostate cancer will emerge in the next decade. So, let us just recap and remind ourselves what are the symptoms of prostate cancer. The common symptoms are a weak or slow urine flow, passing urine more frequently or urgently than usual, particularly noticeable through the night, difficulty in starting to urinate, pain or a burning sensation during urination, or unexplained urinary infections. Occasionally, other symptoms may include impotence or erectile dysfunction, again, not an uncommon problem in men over 55, constipation, blood in the urine or semen, and pain in the back with no other obvious cause. 
If you have any of these symptoms, the first step, as always, is please talk to your GP. A talk through with your doctor will help you decide the best course of action. Also, please remember that there are other conditions that can give similar symptoms to prostate cancer, but it's always best to get these symptoms checked by your doctor. For more information on prostate cancer, you can visit Prostate Cancer UK on www.prostatecancer.uk.org. Another useful site is ORCID at www.orchid-cancer.org.uk or telephone 0203-465-5766 or you can visit or telephone the Macmillan Cancer Information Centre at Nobles Hospital on 650735 or www.cancer.org.im Thank you for listening.